Welcome to my channel. Today's story I'll be on how to call this lovely top with side sleeves. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe and hit on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. For this simple top, you will need your remember our last uh, illustration on basic bodice pattern. You can make use of it to get this top very easy. If you are interested, you will see the link in the description below. I have my shoulder to be 16 divided by 2, which is 8. I'm bringing down the 8 there so that I can have my hammer curve. curve. My neckline is 3 inches by 3 inches, 3 inches depth and 3 inches width. You curve it out like so. You have your one inch shoulder slope there. Just follow it step by step. I'm having my bust measurement there, which is 40 divided by 4. That is 10. And I'm adding one inch seam allowance. I don't want any easy allowance. I want that boss part to be fitted. So I'm going to connect the armhole. At the armhole, you divide what you have there, which is eight, divide it into two. To give you four, and at the four point, you come in by quarter of an inch, so that you have your front arm hole. Check out my basic bodice pattern. It's very easy. So I have the back arm hole and the front arm hole. You can see it. The front arm hole and the one at the back is the back arm hole. From my shoulder to my waist is 17 inches. And for the length of the top, I'm making use of the whole length of the African fab uh, fabric. Can you see? I'm making use of the whole length. So for my hip measurement, I measure from the shoulder to 24 inches. So my waist is 36 divided by 4, which is 9. And I'm adding 1 inch seam allowance. Now the hip, my hip is 40 divided by 4. I don't have it there. Forty divided by four will give ten plus one inch seam allowance. You have to repeat what you have at the hip part to the M. I'm having eleven there, so I'm just going to bring it down to the hair. Eleven inches. No additional reduction. Just bring it down like that. Then I'm connecting the lines. You can mark it down to the hem. Now I have my front bodies. I'm going to cut it out without cutting the front neckline and the front armhole because I'm still going to use this to cut the back. So that's the cotton. It's 
so easy to make so now i can cut the back so it's your choice whether you want a zipper at the back I me mean, i would like it to have a zipper because i would like it to be fitted a bit just place your front on the remaining fabric and measure out one inch for your zipper and you can just cut out cut out like that with a ham hole but the neckline you should manipulate that for the back neckline I'm still making use of my three inches for the width but one inch for the depth the back must not be too deep I want one inch can you see like so I'm just going to connect with my curved ruler so I can cut out or cut the back neckline first I'm still going to maintain my hammer because I'm having the back hammer there so when I want to cut the front neckline I can cut the back armhole off if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos thank you so I have it like that So for the slit, there's a long slit. If you look at the picture very well, there's a long slit. I want mine to start a bit slower at the waist. My waist is 17, so I'm making use of 20, 20. Let's mark out 20. That's where I want the slit to start from. That's where I want my slit to start from. I'm going to notch it. So whenever I'm sewing the allowance, the same allowance, it, should, it must stop there. The sewing must stop at the 20 inches I notched. So I have the front bodies now. I can cut off the neckline and the hammer. Like so. And that is it. So I'm cutting now I'm cutting my sleeve if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve check down in the description below I'm going to put a link on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern I'm making use of my pattern so it will be easy and fast to cut And you see, so easy. So right now I have my back bodies and the front bodies together. The right side facing each other. The right side facing each other. And you see. So I'm going to take to my machine and sew the shoulder and the sides. Remember the 20 inches for uh, before the slit. So right now I've sewn the shoulder and the side. Can you see? I, I stopped at the 20 inches. Can you see? So I'll go back to my machine now and sew that slit out. 
I will do the I will add my zip and also the neck and I'll come and show you so I have it done now I can attach my zipper can you see I'll fix the zip and the slit is done too can you see so I'm going to attach my sleeve one by one I'll come back and show you this is the final look can you see I have it done within 10 15 minutes you're done with the sewing can you see well ironed and the slits is beautiful